so th theory. So we'll talk a couple of different places, uh, three or four different ways of looking at ch theory. First and foremost is channel. Okay, the, we, we reprise up on top there a little bit of a diagram from our colleagues um, at uh, Forrester. And Forrester, I think, has got some pretty smart ways to look at this stuff. So if there's, a, if, there, if there's such a thing as old school when it comes to social, Forrester, I think, is it. Yeah, so their, their technographic study is pretty good. It's pretty smart. Um, I would say to Forrester, get out a little more often into the real world where we live. Um, but what they've done is, and they think it's pretty revolutionary, and it is, it's just a provocative said, they said, that's the new funnel at the top. So if we look at this as a channel, and if we look at what we do for a living as converting customers, in Marketing 101, we taught about this funnel that looked like that. And I think we all recognize that the funnel really never quite looks like that, because you're at a different point in the funnel when it comes to cars than you are the gentleman who's just buying his own house. So, but the idea of looking at this as a channel, and the theory that supports that, so Varsha says things have changed, and now it looks like that. And they, they actually describe that funnel change more to say that people are contributing to this channel. So when, when someone sits in front of a television ad, they don't do anything except to look at it. You can't change that all right, as a consumer. The interesting thing that Forrester observed, as we all know, is MySpace, the reason that MySpace became popular is because people were constantly contributing stuff. Pictures, photos, comments, and things like that. So the idea that we're now contributors, our consumers are now contributors, is really critical to how we, we treat this. Um, the social brand, okay, this idea of, we say social media is a noun, social marketing is a verb. Okay, so if we look at channel and how the social brand looks and feels, um, we think there's some interesting things to learn. And then the social ecosystem, from a theory, from a theoretical standpoint, what we say is there, okay, well, mindful that Forrester's told us that everyone's kind of contributing now. So what if I put an advertisement out on, on Twitter and someone retweets it and changes the word? What if they put profanity in there? There's a huge amount of risk and, and, and surrender that we, we potentially offer, uh, enter into here when we start to enter the new marketing here, it is no longer just one way, not even two way. It's, 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 it's us by, you know, actually putting things into a domain where our, our consumers can do things with it. Okay? So that's tricky. It's opportunistic, but it's dangerous too. So mindful of this from a theoretical standpoint, and as a channel, as a platform, mindful of this.